Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and today I have a review video. I just finished cracking open the eight set booster packs that came in my Magic the Gathering Wilds of Eldraine bundle. I've added the eight pack cracking videos to a playlist on my channel, so go and check them out. For this review video, I will focus on the rarity collation and financial value of bundles. First, I'll start with rarity collation and set booster packs. Aside from pulling an art card, a land card, one foil, and at least one rare or mythic, the rarity collation for set booster packs can vary quite a bit. In opening bundles from the previous eight Magic the Gathering expansions, I found the average rarity collation in the set booster packs to be six commons, four uncommons, one rare or mythic, and one foil. So how did my Wilds of Eldraine bundle compare? The average rarity collation in the eight set booster packs was four commons, five uncommons, two rares or mythics, and one foil. Pulling more uncommons and rares is the kind of trend that I'm excited to see. However, this isn't a typical trend since the Enchanting Tales cards are included in set booster packs. With Enchanted Tales only printed at Uncommon, Rare, and Mythic, the trend is definitely skewed away from commons to higher rarities. Next, I'll compare the overall rarity collation in bundles. After opening bundles from the past 8 standard sets, the overall rarity collation of the 96 cards in each bundle averaged 36 commons, 32 uncommons, a combination of 12 rares and mythics, 9 foils, and 7 basic lands. Once again, how did my Wilds of Eldraine bundle compare? The overall rarity collation from the bundle was 28 commons, 38 uncommons, a combination of 14 rares and mythics, 9 foils, and 7 basic lands. Just like the analysis for set booster pack rarity collation, overall bundle rarity collation is skewed away from commons because of the enchanting tales appearing in set booster packs. I'm definitely not going to complain at all to pull more uncommons and rares out of bundles. I pulled 9 foils comprised of 2 commons, 5 uncommons, 1 mythic, and 1 basic land. I pulled 2 cards from the list, 1 uncommon, and 1 rare. Okay, the other half of my Wilds of Eldraine bundle review is focused on financial value. I will only be considering the TCG market pricing for all value cards, which are all the rares and mythics. I will also include any common, uncommon, foil, basic land, token, or art card over $1 as a value card as well. I pulled one uncommon with a value over a dollar, up the beanstalk at $3.20. From the list, I pulled Crystalline Crawler at $3.87. From Commander, I pulled Court of Ardenvale at $1.90. Now on to the rares and mythics. A Tale for Ages, $0.23. Cents. Lord Skitter's Blessing, 34 cents, Charming Scoundrel, 40 cents, Elusive Otter, Grove's Bounty, 42 cents, Beluna Grand Squall, Seek Thrills at 56 cents for Mythic, come on, The Goose Mother at 59 cents, The Iron Crag at 61 cents, Restless Cottage Borderless at $1.13, Virtue of Loyalty Mythic at $8.66, Next up are the rares and mythics from Enchanting Tales, Leyline of Abundance at $0.29, cents, Primal Vigor at $4.75, Defense of the Heart Anime Borderless, a mythic coming in at $12.01, the third highest card out of my bundle, Kindred Discovery Foil Mythic at $12.24, second highest out of the bundle, and the highest card out of the bundle, Parallel Life's Mythic coming in at $24.53. Interesting to note the top three value cards out of the bundle were from Enchanting Tales, not the regular Wilds of Eldraine set. My 17 value cards totaled a whopping $75.73. If I include every card, the total value is $84.15, which is $54.15 more than what I spent to purchase my Wild of Eldraine bundle. All right, that is awesome. I'll end with my typical disclaimer, don't spend money trying to open cards with value equal to or greater than what was spent. I only purchase bundles because I enjoy collecting one bundle from each standard released set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell me in the comment section what you think about my Wild of Eldraine bundle. I'll be back soon with another bundle opening experience. Tune in next time to see what I crack.